So usually we like to, uh, you know, give props to the, the people behind the scenes that make this happen because truly without the technical support, um, the offstage crew, there would be nothing that happens on stage well or even at all, actually. Uh, however, I have to give like double props to these fabulous ladies because they do double duty here, just like everybody else. Some of them even triple duty. Let's find out who they are. First of all, you are Quinn and... Nadia and Riley. Riley, awesome. Riley, you guys right now are dressed in your blacks yes. because you represent the backstage crew. Yes, we we are stage managing West Side Story, and she's a stage manager for Romeo and Juliet. We'll be but we'll be acting in about two seconds so for you are, West Side. You're, you're, so you're acting and you're. Mm -hmm. I love this. Oh my God. So first of all, um, is this your first time stage managing? Yes, it is. So wh what have you learned about, because I mean, oh. I know that myself, I learned a great deal, but what have you learned about being a stage manager and what happens behind the scenes as usually you're just on the stage? So much. You don't think about what happens in these little headsets. Like there's constantly a voice going, telling you something new to do. And then when it comes to like calling cues for the show, there's so much concentration and respect for yourself that comes with the job mm -hmm. and being able to say, you know what, I can do this. It's okay that you have as an actor but it's it's different because the sound just happens or when a light cue goes wrong you just think oh well that went wrong but then when you're stage managing you're like you realize why things go wrong and how it happens so it's opened my eyes oh, big time in that regard absolutely. and how everything happens because you guys are making it happen you're making the calls i mean like you actually give places yeah this show wouldn't go if we we could have just <laughs> shut the lights down everyone go home if we were yeah. feeling grumpy or anything yeah like you know what let's take the lights up in the entire audience and recreate the <laughs> because you do you really you are part of the show much more than i think anybody knows you are the show actually yes and when we are not calling cues we are opening and closing doors and solving problems getting costumes fixed my it's it's this constant energy it's like we have our own script and our own path as well. That's, well, that's very well put, actually, <laughs> beautifully put. Um, as uh, anybody's in West Side Story, and then you're also stage managing Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, um, it's busy. It's very busy. Awesome. Uh, we actually just did the run through of Romeo and Juliet, so now I'm in that switch of getting makeup and hair and getting ready for the next run through. Um, and it's it's tiring, but it's also very exciting and fun, and it's it's really awesome to be a part of both shows. That is so cool. I have to ask you, um, because I, you know, in my in my day, I used to do a bit of Shakespeare. <laughs> Does anybody get creative on their lines, and you're like, I actually don't know where or what they're saying? Sometimes <laughs> it does happen. Sometimes where all of a sudden they're just kind of off, and you just wait until they get back on oh, again, and then you keep going, and oh, everything's geez. fine. Yeah. Um, I would like to take this opportunity as an actor at some point in my life, but I just would like to apologize to stage <laughs> managers everywhere who are like, I don't know what she's doing. I, I think that is so great, you guys, that you, you have that double awareness and you're that you're that double tough. Uh, awesome job! Congratulations, <laughs> congratulations, and congratulations! And here they are, the incredible, amazing gals that are making this show go uh, in ways that you'll never see except you do see you see everything they do that you just don't know it we'll be back uh, wrapping up DT after this